All right, today's video, we're gonna show you how we lit these interview scenes for Heading West. You'll probably have already seen Heading West. Hopefully, if you haven't, link up here. Behind the scenes, let's do this. The lights we're using today are the... I don't know what lights we're using today. <laughs> today, we're gonna to be using the new Zhiyun Molus X100 and G60 to light our scenes today. I love these lights because they're so compact and so easy to travel with, especially when we're shooting outside the studio. Like today, I just put them all inside a camera bag. Look at that, how cute. Look at them. They're like little cubes. We're gonna do two interview setups, one for Chris, which is gonna be right inside the helicopter here. And then we're gonna shoot one of myself and we're probably gonna shoot it over in the messy corner cause I kinda of wanna have like shop vibes, but we're gonna shoot it on like a 24 mil 1.4 lens. And we're just gonna cream that background out. So you're gonna see chaos, but hopefully it will be an organized chaos and won't look like a disaster like it looks in real life right now. I like the softbox cause it's got black and gold and that is my color theme for my life. The G60s are 60 watt lights. And then the X100 is a 100 watt light. So we're gonna use the X100 as our key light cause it's gonna be more powerful. And then we'll use the G60s as any kickers or any accent lighting that we might wanna do. I like the softbox cause it's compact, but it still has a fairly sizable footprint. It's kind of like this like small softbox size, but gives you the size of your light source is gonna be how big the face is. So it's a decent size, but it's still fairly compact. And it comes with a grid. So you get a nice soft light, but the grid keeps it more directional. So it's not spilling over everything else. So it's controllable. Um, it's just a nice gridded softbox and nice compact form factor. Wrong color temperature, noob. 5,600 Kelvins. You can't see anything from back here, just the number. So yeah, I'm a noob. I guess I could have just looked at the number. 100% on. We're gonna close the hangar doors because it is bright, sunny ass day outside. I want full light control here, which means that the room needs to be completely dark so we can manipulate the light the way we want. We got the door taken off here so it's not kind of in the way. We're gonna try this and if we don't like how it looks then we'll probably seat him in front. But I think we're gonna work with the X100 as a key light. We'll see what kind of kickers we wanna get. When I say kicker, that means light in the back that's shining into the camera. And then I also brought the 5-Ray M40s, which I like to use inside the helicopter to light it up. So I got one light on here, key light, but it's obviously it's looking a little flat. So what I might do is actually throw a light in the back of the helicopter here. It's not doing much, is it? Why don't you put it between the seats? That's a good idea. How's that? Uh, it kind of gives a spooky look to it. Too spooky? Okay. Yeah. That light is reflecting really badly in the, through the bubble, and then this here is like super dark. Okay, I think we got our shot lined up here. So we've got the Molus X100 here as our key light with the softbox and the grid on it. So that's focusing that light on Chris's face. We got a bit of a side light here. We're going for blasty, contrasty. We were thinking about going for a teal and orange look, but actually the brand colors are more tan, pinks. So we're gonna kind of lean in that direction. So we have a kicker light in the very back. That's the G60 on the light stand. And we've got that set to a warmer color temperature than what our key light is here. And so that's just gonna give us the ability to bring through that warmth that matches the kind of black and gold Millennial Falcon scheme that we have going on. And hopefully we'll be able to pull that kind of gold through in the color grade. I was like, hey, we should gel that light back there. The yeah. backlight, and then you're like, uh, we just changed the color temperature. Uh, the second thing we did actually was add the 5-Ray M40 with the same color temperature as our kicker light on a little tiny mini light stand, and that's just highlighting inside the cockpit there. What would you call that? The console. Console. Dash. So that, and actually, it works out perfect because the interior of the bird is that warm color. So it kind of balances it out. We've got like some highlights here, and then we have that little highlight over here. Yeah, I'm really excited, but also it's, it's like... All right, so we're doing my interview now. So we're using the same light. So we have the Molus X100 here as a key light, same modifier, same grid selection. Uh, we've got the light closer to the plane of the camera because I prefer that look. It's more flattering. I don't really like a contrasted look on my face. Um, we have the G60 here that is basically unmodified. It just has that reflector on it. And we've got that hitting the wall. It's hitting the ladder here too, which is creating kind of a cool shadow effect in behind. It's like a practical cookie, it is, yeah. And then back here we have that 5-ray M40 just shoved on the shelf. You can see it, but we're shooting at a shallow depth of field, so it's kind of blurred out. Lapel mic is tucked inside my bandana here. We're shooting with the 24mm 1.4 at 1.4 to purposely blur out the background, and we trust the eye out of focus enough to be able to keep that uh, the eyeballs in focus. Fingers crossed. Shall we do this? Let's do it. 
Okay, I have a list of questions on my phone. That is our lighting setups, two ways that we lit our interviews for Heading West. If you haven't seen the series yet, link up here, it is six episodes. Just wanna take a quick second to also plug our merch if you're looking for gift ideas, something for your friends, your family, or for yourself. We have a lot of different products in our shop currently. We've got the No Bad Ideas micro notebook set, we've got the Captured Photons bandana, we've got sweaters, hooks, matchboxes, matchbox refills, stickers. You can find all of our products linked in the description background is a mess. I gotta do something about that. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. But first we need to move the truck in. Is it gonna fit? Four inches, two inches. I think the arse is hanging out. It's not even an issue. No, you got a good, uh, you got a good like two feet. The door falls right here.